Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode of Design Talk, I want to share with you this new design I came up with. So one of the things you guys know, I've been experimenting with the um, vacuum chamber to dehydrate my filament. And one of the pieces that I want to do is obviously since I'm using it to dehydrate the filament when I allow the chamber to repressurize obviously if I'm letting moist damp air back into the chamber while most of the filament is dry I mean I want to keep that air as dry as possible right so what I decided to do was was whip up an adapter that would go on the air intake of the um, vacuum chamber and then I would put a packet of desiccant inside this chamber and the air rushing in would run past the desiccant. Desiccant would pick up the uh, moisture from the air or I would hope a substantial portion of it and keep my filament drier. So I thought this was kind of a neat design. Now I tackled it from, from a couple different aspects if you will and one of the key aspects is this thread here. So I had to do a pipe thread and uh, well, I should probably back up. I did this in Fusion 360 and I just really am geeked by the way that Fusion 360 handles threading. And this is just came out so nice. I printed this on the Model Price Mini Select. Um, did an excellent job. 0.2 layer height out of, out of PLA. Um, and it came out really great. So what I did is I actually made a body and I also put um, you know, a, a, basically a hex nut type structure here for a couple different purposes. If I needed something to cinch onto to tighten it, I could do that. I also put these ears on it to tighten it. So they actually do double duty for mounting the cover as well as acting as a uh, you know, means to turn it. Now, this also does double duty because I can put a wrench on it and twist it in there. Now, again, it's not going to take too much torquing. This is PLA, uh, but it really doesn't need it. The threads came out great, and I haven't even chased this with a die, to be honest. Uh, but this also does provide additional support because, again, if I took this right down to this body right here, It'd be kind of weak, so this acts sort of as a fillet, if you will, in addition to give it something to cinch to. Um, I also carried out the three millimeter bolt holes the entire distance. One of the main reasons I did that is I did tap these, so I used my handy dandy uh, uh, speed tap, tapped these out, came out really nice. Um, again, I used two wall thicknesses because it's M3s. I really didn't need a lot here. Uh, but again, if you have longer M3s that need to extend past, they can. And also it kind of looks cool. So the idea of the way that this works is, again, I'm just taking a, a pack of desiccant I've, I've gotten from a spool. And then what I'm going to do is put it inside this body. And you kind of want to... You kind of got to press it in there, so it's a pretty tight. It's a pretty tight fit because we want it to, you know, basically cover the hole in here. So it's covering this whole area, so the air has to can't really get by without passing through the desiccant. And then we put this cover on it, and we take a couple small M3s. Now I kind of vexed about what to use to cinch this. I like to use M3s. They're sort of handy. I've got a few of them. I, I like the idea of this. I thought about trying to do some sort of um, self-locking mechanism, but you know, 3D printing those self-locking mechanisms, a lot of times they don't work too great. Now, what I may try doing is uh, in the future, uh, you know, try some experimentation with some larger threads. But as you see here, it goes together like this, and and this is a quarter-inch um, pipe thread. And it just threads right into the va uh, the top of the vacuum chamber, basically just like this. But I just want to show you guys. Look how smooth I'm threading this in by hand. I want to make sure I'm getting this in there. I mean, these threads are just really nice, and I mean they they snug up uh, really nice. And so now I have an air dryer on the inlet of my vacuum chamber. So now as I work my vacuum chamber the air that repressurizes the chamber also gets dried before going in there. So I thought this was a nifty little um, concoction, if you will, widget. And again, this is what I'm kind of sharing with you in the design thinking. Now, to talk about some of the design of this, uh, you know, a couple things when I looked at this at first, I was going to go at it a little bit differently, but I had only so much clearance, make sure I get it in here, so much clearance inside of here, 
and then you know obviously you know how far it would come out here and, and so there's a little bit of dynamic and also size here to clear the valve so um, that's how I roughly came up with the size and then also the extension to about the end of the lid is how I came up with the size uh, you'll probably have to use a little bit smaller desiccant packet um, to fit inside of here um, I'm thinking about maybe making a little bit bigger version, uh, but I'm a little bit bit hesitant because of the space, but I may give it a try. So I will have this out on Thingiverse. So if you want to go out and grab it, you have a vacuum chamber, you want to put an air dryer on your vacuum chamber, here you go. It's out there. I also have some links to some M3 screws. These are always handy. I get them off of Amazon in bulk. So uh, again, really great stuff. So anyways... Hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget the bell button over there. Go down there and hit it so you're notified when I put out new content like this. Follow me on Thingiverse. I put a lot of new designs out there. And uh, Swag Shop's up in the corner. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all.